could go over a few of the leashes that I have and I'll give you my thoughts, both pros and cons on that. I am out here in my garage because when I pull out leashes, the dogs get really excited. So you might hear them, they're right inside that door, they saw me go outside, they saw me grab camera equipment, which usually means that we're gonna do something fun. Um, so I'm just doing it out here so that they won't jump all over me while I show you the leashes and then I'll show you what it looks like on them so you can kind of see how they go on and how the dogs um, fit with them on. So grab a cup of coffee because it's 9 o'clock in the morning and let's get started. Okay, so the first harness I'm gonna show you is called the Freedom No-Pull Harness. Now, I would say that the main pro to this one is that of all the no-pulls I've tried, this one actually delivers, and I find that they pull the least when they are wearing the Freedom No-Pull Harness. Now, they always pull, so it's not perfect. Um, I haven't necessarily trained my dogs to be leash dogs. We tend to be off leash the most, um, so they're not on leashes a ton, but when they are, I find that they pull less with this Freedom No-Pull um, harness. Now the one thing I want to say as a con is that the lead is pretty short and so when my husband walks them he sometimes trips on them when he uses this one so he hates to walk the dogs with these. I usually will be the one that holds the dog in this harness um, just because he hates tripping over them because it is a little bit shorter. So I would say that's the only con to it otherwise I say it works pretty well in terms of no pull but again it's not perfect. I have yet to find a perfect no pull harness. And then the other one that I've had good success with is called the Weiss Walkie No Pull Harness. Now this one I have found doesn't actually not pull. They still pull quite a bit with this one. Um, it wraps around their chest and then attaches to their collar. So you have to have a collar with this one. With the Freedom No Pull option, you don't have to have a collar on them. Um, and so depending on how you like to, how your dogs typically wear collars, that could be a deciding factor. This one's a little bit tricky at first to learn how to put on them, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second, but it's just a simple leash. Sometimes I even use it as a normal leash. It clips onto their collar using this piece here, it wraps around their chest, you pull through the loop, and then it's attached to them. But you don't necessarily have to. You could use it just by attaching to their collar, which I do sometimes when I'm just trying to get them somewhere quick. Um, but this one is called the Weiss Walkie No Pull Harness. And again, as far as no pull goes, this one's not my favorite. If I really want to do no pull, I'm going to use the Freedom one. Um, but again, I've yet to find one that is 100% no pull in terms of harnesses. So let's take a look at what they look like on the dog so you can see that. Okay, so the pups saw me get all of these leashes and their collar out. So they're going to be a little bit crazy for a second um, until I get them calmed down. So let's see what they look like. <laughs> they are pretty excited so with that one I hook it to the collar wrap it around their chest underneath their arms and then um, through the loop and I pull so it's really easy to put on once you get used to it but it just takes a second so they're getting excited they think they're going somewhere they're gonna be really disappointed <laughs>
straps. First, you have to put their head through the first portion, but then you pull the straps underneath up under their first set of legs and you clip it on both sides. But then you'll see that the actual leash portion is attached to the front and the back. So as you can see, in order to put those leashes on them, I typically put their body in between my legs so that I'm able to control them just a little bit more because they are so excited. Um, so hopefully this helps you decide which one of these might be right for you. And if you have any questions about any others, just let me know. Have a great weekend.